Hey everybody, Bob Walker here, Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries in John 8, 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Last night I was looking at some, a someone that was debunking the pre-trib rapture, which isn't hard to do. I mean, it, it it's just... They can't show you one plain, clear verse that shows the resurrection, what they call the rapture, happens before the tribulation. Everything points after, at the end. I mean, everything. And it was a ministry, so-called. And... I heard the guy that was speaking, his name was Joel Richardson. I was like, wait a minute. I know that name from years ago. It was my opinion that he was a, uh, well, I was under the impression he was an antichrist, if you catch my drift. And so I'm listening to all these videos, leaving some comments actually agreeing with him and then i go to the about page to, to find out you know what they believe who they are and there on the the top is a uh please contribute money for our uh the war that the israelis are having so they wanted donate money so that the Israelis can continue having a war. But the thing is, if you're fighting a group of people and they have no Navy, they have no Air Force, they have no Army, that's not a war. That's um, something else. That's Gen No Side. And besides all that, uh, a certain group of people bombed the oldest Christian church in the world a while ago. I don't remember how what the time frame was, but it was within the last year or two. The oldest Christian church in the world over there was bombed. And it wasn't bombed by the people that don't have an Air Force. No. It was bombed from a plane. So, likely American-made. And the bombs, too. So, I was like, oh, now I know what this guy's all about. Yeah. See, that's how it works. They tell you some truth. They get you your confidence to, you know, to trust them. And then they slip the poison in. Now, this is something that came to me last night, and I'm going to do a video on it, I think, because I think it's really important. The When you read the account of Abraham, he had two sons. He had Ishmael and Isaac. Isaac, the Lord said, was to be the, the chosen, the promised seed. Ishmael was blessed, but he was rejected from being the covenant seed. He, uh, his, the mother was an Egyptian. Egypt is the land of Ham. Ham was the father of Canaan. I mean, I'm just doing this real quick. Uh, if I do a video on this, God willing, I'm going to go into a lot more detail. But Ishmael is generally considered the father of the Arabs. And the Lord blessed Ishmael. And he was to be, uh, have many princes. So what's funny is that there's hundreds of millions of Arabs and just a, you know, maybe a 15, maybe 20 million Jews in the whole world. And the Jews are supposed to be all of Israel. So what, uh, God forgot to bless 
them numerically, really, but he didn't forget his covenant that he made with Abraham for Ishmael? Mm, I don't know. Doesn't Something doesn't look right. But the deal is, they're flooding Europe and parts of America with Muslims. They're not part of the covenant. They cannot be Christians. And when they have these dreams of Christ, I think they're speaking of an Islamic antichrist. Now, I'm kind of wondering, is there going to be a pre-antichrist before the final antichrist? The beast, the man of sin, the son of perdition? I think there will be. I really do. I, I've been looking at it. So when the pre-Islamic Antichrist comes, he can say, oh, well, you know, the Christians are heretics. Kill them. And the Christians are going to be like, wait a minute. Pre-trib rapture, we were supposed to be out of here. This ain't supposed to happen. Well, you idiot Christians, we told you Jesus was a false prophet for, you know, almost around 2,000 years. We've been telling you this the you-know-whos, anyways. So maybe uh, they will kill the Christians that refuse to bow down in the cities. I don't know. Europe's flooded with them. And by Bible definition, they're heathens. They're not Christians. They're heathens. Even the book of Psalms says God has a begotten son. Islam says God has no son. Well, I believe them. Their God has no son. But my Bible, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, has a begotten son who was made flesh and walked on this earth about 2,000 years ago. So, when the Islamic Antichrist comes, if there is one, which I think there's a very good possibility, he will carry out a lot of the dirty work, and then the Messiah of the Antichrist over in the Middle East, and I'm not talking about the Arabs, I'm talking about the you-know-whos, their Messiah can put down the Islamic Messiah and say uh, they can build their temple and then he as God can sit in the temple of God showing himself that he is God. And a lot of the Christians will be going, hey, wait a minute, this guy saved us from the Antichrist. So he must be the real Messiah. And you will either take his mark and worship him, or you will be beheaded. Look up the Noahide laws, N-O-A-H-I-D-E. Penalty for blasphemy is beheading. And if you believe in Jesus, that is blasphemy to them. I think it's Revelation chapter 20, where it talks about uh, John saw the souls of those that were beheaded for their for the word of God and for the witness of Jesus. And I'm paraphrasing. We'll go more into that, God willing, if I get a video on this, going into details, proving what I'm saying. But I think that's a very real possibility. And I've mentioned it in a previous study, but... Uh, that Richardson guy made me think about it. You know, all these messianics, so-called, their entire purpose is to trick Christians into thinking, oh, the Messiah has come. We told you Messiah was coming. So worship him or die. And that is my guess. So... Be very, very cautious. 
The Bible says that Jesus is going to come in the clouds. They got a thing called Project Blue Beam holograms. They could actually fake a coming in the clouds. But the only difference is, Jesus said, or the apostle said that, I think it was Paul, that we would be caught up in the air to be with him. So if you're not caught up in the air to be with Christ, very important people, if you're not caught up in the air to meet Christ in the clouds, the cloud of witnesses, it's the wrong Messiah. And it might be a good idea to have some survival gear out towards the wilderness in a place where it's buried and you could find it in a burial tube. Like I did that video on survival stuff. But that was a get home bag. A long term bag is a lot different. You need heavy stuff that's going to last. Clothing, winter gear, uh, sleeping bags, you know, things that uh, they're going to, uh, things that are going to be needed. So, you know, it's something to think about. And it wouldn't surprise me if it happens in our lifetime. Wouldn't surprise me at all. I'm not saying it is. I don't set dates. People that set dates that are wrong, do you know the Bible says to stone them to death as a false prophet? Yeah, it does. Read the Old Testament. Deuteronomy. Numbers. They make a prophecy and it doesn't come to pass, we're supposed to kill them. Wow, Jehovah's Witnesses' leadership would have died in uh, 1977 because they predicted by 75, 76, Jesus was returning. Of course, they deny that now, but, you know, yeah. Oh, well, we really didn't say that. We really didn't mean that. You guys misunderstood. But uh, we don't do that stuff anymore, unfortunately. So, you know, everything's about tolerance now. They'll tolerate everything except for Jesus Christ and his people. They'll tolerate every perversion in the world. But hey, don't worry, we're going to be saved MAGA. Make America great again. I don't think so. Especially when you find out that uh, Chump is uh, has a teacher of Kabbalah. Unbelievable. All right, people. Um, God willing, I'll do a detailed study on this. I've got a couple studies that cover this material, but maybe I'll, I don't know. Maybe I'll do a new one, throw it together. Uh, I've got so many Bob studies, I don't even know where all the material is anymore. So, all right, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' precious name. Oh, and remember, the building of the temple, animal sacrifices, complete, total denial of what Jesus did on the cross. In Jesus' name, amen.